Hi, my name is Dee Childers, and I'm the owner of Life Changes Elder Care Consulting. Hi, Dee. Thanks for joining us today. Can you please share with our viewers about your business and the focus of your work? Thank you, Dara. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. Um, at Life Changes, we provide care management, supporting those typically over 60, though we're working with several younger clients diagnosed with early onset dementias. Um, we work with clients where their needs are. We can do as much or as little as the client chooses, ensuring our clients' health, safety, and well-being needs are met. So it's best, though, if we can start with a full assessment for each senior, looking at all areas of life to see what areas are working well and what areas need to be shored up. And then we put a plan together for those areas and identify action items and recommend resources. So we most often provide medical advocacy, ensuring that all our client providers are in the loop as well as the family if the client chooses. So we support distance caregivers by being their eyes, ears, and a pair of hands, and we're continually assessing our clients for changes and work quickly to uncover causes and implement supporting strategies to, to make things well again. Can you tell us what you enjoy most about the work you do with your clients and their families? What makes the work most enjoyable for me is that daily we get to make a difference in the lives of our clients and their families. You know, one of our major goals is to maximize their quality of life as long as possible. And I love making that happen. And what brought you to the work that you do? Is there a personal reason you do this? Or what motivates you primarily to do the work that you do? Well, you know, Dara, the, the, my whole caregiving journey started in 2010 when we realized that the changes we were seeing our father were more than just his quirky personality. He was diagnosed with dementia shortly thereafter, and we also learned along the way that he had had a small heart attack and a possible stroke. Um, and we, nor apparently our father, had any idea that this happened. And so we started the caregiver journey not knowing anything about this system. We had to learn the differences between home care, home health, and ALF, and a sniff, and on and on and on. And when I take something on, I like to become deeply knowledgeable or a subject matter expert. So I decided to become a certified aging life care manager. And as a result of that, I started my business in 2012 so that we could help many other people besides my own parents. So do you have one piece of advice that you would like to share with your clients and our viewers? I think one of the most important things is that everybody start talking to each other. Adult children and parents need to have conversations before they're necessary about what's important to them, what are their medical conditions, what what does their financial status look like, and be able to be planful about what's important to them as they move through life so that anybody can step in at any point in time. Don't wait till there's a crisis. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for all you do to support seniors and their caregivers.